President Trump is trying not to let the Supreme Court's ruling get in the way of adding that controversial citizenship question to the census. The president now says he's considering an executive order to tack on the question, even though the forms are already being printed. The Justice Department now admitting it is still struggling to make its case. Here's ABC's Rachel Scott. Tonight, the White House announcing it still plans to push ahead with including that controversial citizenship question on the 2020 census. Despite the Supreme Court blocking the administration's efforts, President Trump says he has options. We can start the printing now and maybe do an addendum after we get a positive decision. So we're working on a lot of things, including an executive order. Today, Department of Justice lawyers told a federal judge they are exploring ways to include the question. But they also acknowledge they do not have details on how that might happen. Forms are already being printed without the question. 15 to 20 billion dollars and you're not allowed to ask them, are you a citizen? And by the way, if you look at the history of our country, it's almost always been asked. But Americans haven't been asked about citizenship on the census in nearly 70 years. You need it for Congress, for districting. You need it for appropriations. Yet the Census Bureau itself estimates millions of people, mostly minorities, might not answer that question and go unaccounted, which could affect federal funding and congressional seats. Before leaving the White House for a weekend in Bedminster, the president praising his July 4th military celebration. It was really a recruitment situation. A lot of people are going to be joining our Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. While tens of thousands turned out for the show of force, and flyovers, this head-scratching remark making headlines. In June of 1775, the Continental Congress created a unified army out of the revolutionary forces. It ran the ramparts. It took over the airports. It did everything it had to do. Many taking to Twitter, one writing, we beat the British because they had to connect through Atlanta. Today, the president offered an explanation. He blamed faulty teleprompter. Yeah, the teleprompter went out. It kept going on. And then at the end, it just went out. It went kaput. Okay, and Rachel joins us now from near Bedminster, New Jersey, where the president is tonight. Rachel, the president also made some news about those immigration raids that he had delayed a few weeks ago. Today, he said they might be back on again. Yes, Cecilia. President Trump said those deportation raids were on hold, but not off the table. He said he gave Congress two weeks to find a solution, but time is now up. And he says those raids could start soon. Cecilia. Rachel Scott traveling with the president for us tonight. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.